we have discussed a number of classical encryption ciphers and we are back again with another classical en encryption cipher which is known as a root cipher. Now this is a transposition cipher. Now we have seen in the previous video lecture sessions that the ciphers can be classified in two ways. One is substitution, the other one is transposition. In substitution, a given plain text is substituted with the cipher text and when we talk about classical encryption techniques we have a given alphabet for example the Caesar cipher where the alphabet A is substituted by another alphabet D so this is known as a substitution cipher but when we talk about a transposition cipher so in a transposition cipher there is no substitution but the alphabets of the plain text remain as it is but the order in which they appear in the ciphertext changes. Right? So that is the basic definition of a transposition cipher. So when we are talking about classical encryption techniques and that to a transposition cipher, then the alphabets present in the plain text remain the same in the ciphertext also, but the order is different. So now let us see what a root cipher is. So in a root cipher, so in a root cipher, the plain text alphabets are written in the form of a grid or in the form of a matrix. So let me write all the plain text alphabets along a 3 cross 9 grid, right? So let the plain text be, we are discovered. So we are discovered. Flee at once. Okay. So this is the plain text. So what am I doing? I'm writing it in the form of a matrix or a grid where there are three rows and you have nine columns, right? So I write the columns 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and there are three rows 1, 2 and 3 and I write the plain text alphabets. So I write them column wise. So we have an option of writing the alphabets either column wise or row wise, I'll write them column wise. So we write V R discover flee F L E E at once O N C E. Right, so now there are two gaps. Okay, so I can write X and Y. So we can choose any two alphabets and complete the entire grid, right? So now what about the ciphertext? The ciphertext is we can choose a pattern. Now what pattern do I choose? I can choose a pattern which is spiral in words starting from the top right. So I can choose my own pattern. So if I choose a pattern which starts from the top right, moving clockwise, and in a spiral direction. So how do I move? I move like this and then moving inwards. So this is a spiral. So a spiral which starts from the top right moving inwards is a spiral of this fashion. So I can have any root. I can have a root like this. Okay, I can start from somewhere and continue like this. Okay, so I can define the root. So the root basically would specify how the alphabets of the plain text would appear in the ciphertext. Okay, so now I've formed a grid wherein we have three rows and nine columns. So what do I do? I consider nine alphabets, right? So each row has nine alphabets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the remaining nine here. Okay, right? So now the ciphertext would be E X Y C T E D E C, right? The first nine. And next I start from D A E because it is moving spirally inward, right? So I have D A E W R I O R F, and then I have E O. N A L E V S E and E. Right? So since we are moving from the top right 
in a spiral manner moving inwards. So I write all the alphabets in this way. So this forms the ciphertext. Okay, right? So this is how we can get the ciphertext by using a root cipher where we define the root by writing all the alphabets of the plain text in the form of a grid. So I've chosen a 3 cross 9 grid. You can choose a grid, say 4 cross 5 or any grid of your choice. And since we have written the cipher text here, to get back the plain text, we have to do the reverse operation. Okay, so again we consider a 3 cross 9 grid. And we know that the root which has been followed is from the top right, moving spirally inwards. So I consider the first block here. Since you have a grid of 3 rows and 9 columns, right? So each row has 9 alphabets. So I have 9 alphabets. So I write all these alphabets in the grid in the same order, right? So I write E, X, Y, C, T and so on. So which is starting from the right top right corner and moving clockwise spirally inwards. So this section is written here and then I start from D A up to F and then from E O up to E. Okay, so once I write the ciphertext in the same order, then what do I do? I have to read the alphabets column wise because I've re written the alphabets column wise, I read them column wise and I get the entire plain text. Right? So this is how we can get the cipher text using a root cipher which is a transposition cipher. So thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads.